My question is a simple one. Are we alone in the universe? And what evidence, as a scientist, mathematician or artist, do you have to support your view? Brian, we'll start with you. Um, I have no evidence um, <laughs> to start with. Um, are we alone? I suspect that there may be microbes around all over the place. As I say, we, we found no life beyond Earth, but we're trying very hard to look for life on Mars. There are two big joint European-Russian missions going over the next few years, which are aiming specifically at drilling below the surface. Because we think there may be pockets of liquid water on Mars, we know there was water on Mars at some point in its past, so we strongly suspect that there may have been life and possibly may still be life. But there's a different answer, I think, if you ask about complex life, complex living things. And what I find interesting is when you, when you ask astronomers, they will say, well, surely there are other civilizations out there in the Milky Way. Uh, recent data suggests there are something like 20 billion Earth-like planets or potential Earth-like planets at the right distance from stars to have liquid water on the surface. So an astronomer will say there are, there are billions of potentially habitable worlds, there must be. But when I ask biologists, Many of them will say yes, but if you look at the history of life on Earth, it took 3.8 billion years to get a civilization, And that is a long time. It's, it's, a, it's a third of the age of the universe, roughly speaking. So, so you ask the question, how many of those planets are stable enough? How many of those solar systems are stable enough? How many of the stars? Uh, what about the, the process of evolution? Does it, it took over 3 billion years to throw up anything more complex than a single cell on Earth. So it could be that civilizations are very rare. So very rare, but who do you side with in this possibility of intelligent life? Because people don't really want to hear about microbes trapped in Martian oh, ice but and it would be, big it, shed from asteroids and so on. They, they want to know if there's people like us out there, or even not like us, but intelligent life. They, they do. Arthur C. Clarke, the famous novelist, said that there are two possibilities. Either we are alone or we are not. And both of those possibilities terrify me. No. And it's true, we, we, we may be the only civilization in the Milky Way. That actually, I think, is, would be important to know for us, but politically, theologically, philosophy. But, but if we're not, if they're not, then we will, how will we know? We, we have to listen, we have to look for signs of other civilizations. Nalini, as a mathematician, what are the odds? Martin, I think there's also the possibility of uninhabitable planets that may have life on it. We just have to have a bigger imagination, I think, to find those. And I have no idea whether there is civilised life in sulfuric environments where, there are, where there's no oxygen, but it is a possibility. If there are infinite universes, then there's a possibility that there is life out there.